Hello, my name's Angela Damond and I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. I've not been on here for about nine months or so because I've been a little bit busy, but so many of you at Festival of Quilts have said to me, are you putting up more videos? And it was always my intention to, so here I am. I will be talking about Festival of Quilts a little bit later, but if you're new here, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. So I'm probably best known for my canther work, my hand stitching work, but I also make quilts, I also knit, I also embroider, and actually I've not done any cross stitch for about 20 years, and I've just started to do a little bit of cross stitch again to, to as a sort of opposite to the day job, which is just sort of hand stitching freely. So that's a little bit about me, and I said I've been busy, and one of the things I have been doing is I brought out another book. Now, I self-publish my books, which I like because it gives me the freedom to make sure that the patterns are the right size. I can give you the, the information, but it does take quite a lot of time. So this one here, the latest one, is British Birds in Stitches. And this has, has just come out. It was on sale at Festival of Quilts for the first time. And I really enjoyed doing this. And the concept for this book started during lockdown of Covid when I started feeding the birds. I'd always fed them a little bit but I hadn't really watched them and I was amazed at just how many different species of birds came into the garden. So now I have two bird feeding stations or three, I've got one at the back of the house oh, and one on the window. So we, we sort of call it the bird cafe really so they all come in and they all eat which I think is rather wonderful. Now I have, I've been so pleased with this book and it started out with being a block of the month that I designed and that was the first one I ever did. And sometimes I, when I start something new, I always worry about what it's going to be like and how the people go to take it, but actually I needn't worry and I need to learn that. I always teach, don't worry, just go for it. And sometimes I need to believe that myself. But I really enjoyed stitching the birds. And camphor, as you know, is a more naive folk arty way of stitching it, but sometimes for the birds I wanted some realism. And also in the books, I wanted to use thicker threads as well, because I don't know about you, I have probably got a bigger thread stash than I have fabric stash. And sometimes if you get patterns, they say use a thin thread, use a thick thread. And I wanted to show people that the patterns in the books can be used for anything. So, so this one here, can you see? Now, can you see how close this is to the edge here? And especially, let me show you, especially down here, there's just over a quarter of an inch. It's not really half an inch there because this was a sample. This was just me showing people what to do. And I hadn't ever intended it to become something, which is why it's on a very small piece of fabric. However, I really like this blue tit. If you're in the UK, you will recognise this first because I think most gardens have blue tits in them. I'm just going to put the book on the floor before I drop it. And this was in Pearl A8 thread, which is similar to stitching with six strands of stranded cotton, sort of DMC or Madeira, something like that. So I really need to turn this into something. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be the side of a pouch or a bag or wall hanging I, I don't know but I'm going to have to be really careful because of how close it is to the outside and I normally stitch onto white cotton and then two layers of cotton muslin because with camphor work you need to have a back layer to hide your threads in so if I just show you that can you see you've got the cotton which is quite dense and two layers of this very very fine it's actually Egyptian muslin which means that it holds its it doesn't fray like a butter muslin would. I mean, there's a little bit on here, but this is over a year old and it's been handled well. So I need to finish that, maybe for the knit and stitch shows, or maybe make it into something next time I chat with you. Maybe I'll challenge myself to do that. I also did a sparrow in large thread as well. But just so you can see some of the things in the book that I have been working on, I'm just gonna pop some of the photos in here now.
I know many of you have bought the book and many of you supported the book on Crowdfunder as well, because these days it's very, very expensive to publish a book. And I'm so, so thankful to each and every one of you who actually bought the book first. So if you've never heard of Crowdfunder, it's the way an artist can get money up front to pay for something and there are rewards. So the reward was you've got the book or you've got the book and an exclusive kit. So I am so thankful for all your support. It, it always blows me away, so thank you. I said at the start that probably three or four weeks ago now, we spent five days in Birmingham at the NEC for Festival of Quilts. And that really is one of my favourite shows. I think I'm a, I am a quilter, I will say that. And that's one of the only shows that you can enter a quilt into because it's not juried. So when you look at the huge amount of quilts on display, you will get them from complete beginner right through to amazingly talent, talented people with piecing, with long arm quilting. And there are lots of different categories as well. So you can sort of go around and be amazed at what that is. And hopefully with some of the photos I'm, I've shown on my video at the end, you, you will just see how different they all are. What I didn't have time to do though for each quilt is photograph the, the, the maker's name. So I have got some galleries because a gallery is where you have a specific artist and the gallery will be lots of examples of their work. So even though I was at Festival of Quilts for five days, which includes the setup day, I didn't actually get round all of the galleries. I got round, I don't know, maybe half of them and it because it's such a big show. And because I'm on the stand as well, so some people say, oh, did you see and did you see? And I've had people watch the, the video of the quilts. My Patreons have already watched the Festival of Quilts video. And some of those said, gosh, they went to the show and they didn't see those quilts. And I think it's exactly the same with me that I have seen quilts on other people's YouTube channels from Festival of Quilts that I haven't seen either. So it's just a really nice way of showing it. So... I do hope you enjoy this, this snippet of the show, this tiny little bit of the show. And I will be back soon to talk about my knitting and my stitching. And who knows, this might be a pouch. I'm going to use you to challenge me to sort of put, turn this into, into something. Doesn't matter what it is, into something. Do let me know if you enjoy the video. And if you have any questions, you can always comment down below. And if you want to be aware if you want if you want to subscribe to the if you want to subscribe to the channel you can hit like or hit subscribe and then you will know when I put something out. I was trying to do it every four weeks but I'm going to be much more gentle on myself now and try and do it maybe six weeks ish. It certainly won't be nine months that's what I'm promising. So I will be back soon ish with some knitting with some stitching to show you what I've been up to. So take care everyone Enjoy the Festival of Quilts video and I will see you soon.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Better days to come and carry us 
just like wind in our sails Hold on tight I can smell the shore It's right in front of us If we just hold on tight This vision that I saw Is getting closer every dawn Dreamers of the Just sail with the 